Hi everybody, tonight I'm really excited to dig into my four new decks from Art of Play by the artist, I'm gonna get his name right, Mauro Martins. He is famous for this really tight and intricate design work. These decks are not only beautifully designed, really stunning design, but each tree, or rather each deck that they sell, Art of Play is going to plant a tree. So they've got a purpose and they're super duper cool. I got these a couple weeks ago over Christmas, I'm um, sorry, Thanksgiving break during Black Friday. I was able to get a good deal on these. I would have bought them anyways, just because they're so cool. So I'm going to take a look at each deck in succession. I'll go ahead and link each video to the one that I'm currently doing. The final deck I'm going to take a look at tonight in the Harmony Collection is the Space Deck. I've looked at the other three decks in the Harmony Collection and I notice a pattern going on. Good, I'm going to take a look at this deck. I haven't seen the art yet. First time right here. Let's go ahead and take that cellophane off. Again, the, the different themes are air, sea, land, and space. This is our Space Deck. And you can see that there's all sorts of interesting things that you might find in outer space. There's an alien, there's a planet, there's an astronaut, and a space shuttle. Flipping the deck. Let's go ahead and go to the right. Looks like a big old chocolate chip cookie, but I bet that's supposed to be a moon. There's a comet. There's an alien. There's a space invader, some stars, and a spaceship. Again, on the back, it says, with each deck purchased in the Harmony Collection, the Art of Play will plant one tree, 1% for the planet, which is pretty great. On the side here, it says, illustrated by Mauro Martins and the Harmony Collection. The top is just more of the super clever art, and the bottom says Art of Play, and a little more ad copy. Once again, in the tuck flap, it says, the Harmony Collection celebrates the natural resources of our planet and their oneness as seen from the stars. There's more art inside the tuck flap there. I'm gonna pull these on out. Again, this guy is really good at making this beautiful, intricate art. When you look at the tuck, when you look at the back of the card design, little things will start popping out that you didn't notice before. It's so clever, love it. So our the card back isn't identical to the tuck, but a lot of the elements are in it and it's just kind of squeezed together. Once again, it's not a mirrored back, but a, just a one-way design and uh, kind of fans out in a really cool way if, uh, if I was to be an actual cardist. But that, come on, that's completely beautiful. Let's go ahead and peek at the front. The front, just like the back, is full bleed to the edge. Two non-identical jokers. Little green and um, pink space dude. And now I'm gonna assume that these are just like the other decks, that the ace through king all have different art on each card, but the aces and all the cards through kings are gonna be identical in each suit. So as you can see, the ace in the space deck here is that spaceship, little space invader down there. Pretty clever. Um, our twos are a satellite, and more space themey things going on there. Sputnik, stars. There's a little bicycle in space somehow. <laughs> Not sure what that's about. Uh, there's a dog wrapped in a sofa, black hole. Just kind of fantastic things that you might see if you were a space traveler, the sun. So our quartz are all gonna be identical, but slightly different colors. So our spades have astronauts in purple and uh, purple and dark blue. And these are gonna be, oh, white versus colored, it looks like. So the reds are gonna have colored astronauts. Then again, the blacks, gonna have the white. And going to hearts, I imagine they'll be colored again. Are they the same color? Yep. The green for the astronauts and pink for the jack. Once again, awesome. I don't know of the three of these or the four of these decks, I'm not sure which is gonna be, which is my favorite. 
the air was the first one that I opened and so it, it was kind of delightful because it was the first one I opened but I have these all really live up to each other pretty nice finally we've got our two ad cards on the back they have the art of play with that nice split spade by uh, representing art of play and illustrated by Mara Martins and then the ad card for the um, space deck itself beautiful series really like knockout job that um Moro or Maro, however he pronounces his name did with this card and it's really nice that it has a uh, nice uh, cause behind it as well these are $15 on art of play right now not a bad price I got mine for uh, I got the set of four if you had to pick one, they they are similar, but I would if I was as a collector, I would I do want all four of them. And I'm happy that I have all four of them and I'm happy that I opened all four of them and was able to take a peek inside. Hopefully you enjoyed this review and hopefully I'll talk to you soon.